Pan. Ok, la trova. In the bonny blue highlands where the bagpipes play lives the creature called Nessie. But it wasn't always this way. Before her great loch had ever been seen, shy Nessie lived life on the moors of Glen Keen. She was rumoured a monster, which wasn't quite right. Whoa, For she never would have guessed that. What does it no matter? And I wasn't no even bite. chosen as a QNLB. And with a wee friend that she had, the kind, loyal and true, they played hide and seek in a pond, just for two. Until one gloomy grey day, at a quarter past two, from some distant dark land came a tartan-clad crew. With no time to waste and a toot on a bugle, no expenses were spared, but Tycoon McFrugal! This place is perfection. It's just what I need. With a few slight corrections, it'll be heaven indeed. Her small yeah, protests fell on not but deaf ears. Brilliant, sir. Brilliant. Nessie's anger burned bright. Her eyes flickered with tears. Then a friend scolded and told her, Keep a stiff upper lip. Dinner cry. Be a brave heart. Chin up now. Pip, pip. Nessie gritted her teeth and decided to pack her whole kitten caboodle. And a dear friend... McQuack. She set off to search for a new pond they could surf. A place where no well, golf clubs and no astroturf. if I knew who Lady Buckley was, I'd keep it a secret. I would even hug her. Like, say, if you were Lady Buckley. I'd cover pond for you. Was empty. When you needed to transform every in well school, was go dry. fight the baddies, you know? Every oh, yes? Was well, spoke if I was Lady Buckley, I wouldn't even tell you to protect you from the baddies. She travelled each road and sought out every route. But instead of finding home, poor Ness got the boot. And the reward for her efforts, it was always this quip. Only we babies cry. She not now, pip pip. <coughs> Nessie finally pooped out. She'd reached the end of her rope. Where do you go when there is no more hope? Awkward. She stifled a whimper and the lump in her throat. Chin up now, pip pip. She recited by rote. What began as a trickle soon turned to a shower. Nessie cried and she cried, she cried by the hour. She cried cups and pitchers and bottles and buckets. She cried tubs and barrels, quintets and quintuplets. For days Nessie cried, nay for weeks on it went. So one day she sniffed, her tears finally spent. In surprise, she looked up at my quack there. A float? Duncan and a bobbin and what looked like a boat? Nay, it was a lake, a great loch. Nessie gasped in delight. Sure, it was paradise with no golf tee in sight. <laughs> Nessie learned herself a lesson in that bright and happy day. And it bears worth repeating. No matter what folks may say, dinner be afraid to cry. It really is okay. Sometimes it's through our tears we find a better way. As for Nessie and McQuack, well, they're still there, I guess. Forever playing hide and seek 
all along Loch Ness. Oh!